Hi, my name is Eliana and I'll be doing the takeover today. I am currently a sophomore at UW majoring in International Studies and Environmental Studies and I'm spending the semester here at DIS Stockholm. Follow along with me today and I'll put a little question box so you can ask any questions you have and I'll just be taking you through my day in the life, going to class, and showing you a little bit about what a typical DIS experience is like. Enjoy! This is a great question and one that I've really had to think about. Um, I have a couple favorite places. The first one that I already posted pictures of was Budapest, obviously. It was so pretty. The castle was beautiful and the city was just so nice. Um, but here in Stockholm, I really loved the Stockholm Public Library that I'll put a picture of up here. Um, and then also the Nordiska Museum, which is the Nordic History Museum. They it was just such a fascinating museum and I feel like I could go back over and over again and never see everything that they have. This is a great question. I have known that I wanted to study abroad for a very long time. I really wanted to do it in high school, but it didn't really pan out with my schedule and COVID and everything. So once I got to UW, I knew that it was for sure something I wanted to do. And then in terms of why Stockholm, I really wanted to go to a country that had its own language and its own culture but also where everyone spoke English so that I wouldn't be too, too lost. Um, and then I also was really interested in a program that had homestays as an option. So I started looking and DIS kind of naturally popped up and they have two programs, Copenhagen and Stockholm. And I chose Stockholm because I had a friend who went to Sweden in high school and she loved it. So I decided to come here and it's been a really good choice. Okay, I brought in a special guest for this question. This is my grandma, she's visiting this week. Um, in terms of the food, it's pretty similar to America. There's lots of meat, there's lots of potatoes, but as you said, they kind of eat things at different times, right? Yeah, they may have savory things for breakfast, and yeah, but it's not that different. Yeah, it's really not that different. And also you can find almost all the same ingredients here. So like, especially if you live in an apartment, you could just keep making what you make in the US and it would just be better quality, right? Yes. 